Hello everyone, my name is Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and it is time yet again to present you one of my trading plans for this week. I just want to say first that uh, the trading plan from last week gave us great results. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about it tomorrow in the weekly recap, so don't miss it out. I'll also uh, say a few words uh, regarding my future predictions on that plan and uh, what else uh, can we get from it. Also, we are uh, following the trading plan based on the GBP USD uh, currency pair, which I posted uh, not the previous week, but the week before. Uh, and this will be my new trading plan. As usual, we are going to cover uh, three different uh, time frames and you can take positions uh, wherever you feel most comfortable. So let's get started. What you currently see on the screens is the uh, USD Swiss franc currency pair. This is the H4 time frame. First of all, I'm going to say a few words about the daily time frame. Uh, let me just go to that. Okay, so you can see where the price currently is and you can see what a huge move uh, it made so far. Uh, this is due uh, to uh, the rate hikes planned by the Fed and uh, Powell uh, trying to push it, push the USD up and he's so far been successful in that. Uh, at this point, there are a few opportunities um, here I believe we can see. Either the price will continue further up, reaching to that daily resistance area here. You can see how the price behaved there so far. Uh, we had a few bounces from that area. Uh, and Or it will drop down into a correction, uh, which I assume will reach at least this daily support area. Uh, again, you can see how the price behaved there before this area was broken. So basically we had a range before uh, between those two areas. Uh, you can see how strong the daily resistance area is. If we go back, you can see uh, here also we had a huge bounce uh, and also this level acted both as a resistance and support. So uh, what are my uh, predictions here. I'll either look for a buy scenario or a sell scenario depending on what happens right here where the price is now. If we go to the 4 hour time frame, you can see that currently the price is ranging or it's forming a square formation, so more like consolidating. Uh, if we turn on the Bollinger Bands, uh, you can see how uh, the squeeze is already there from the Bollinger's ba Bollinger Bands and usually those type of squeezes uh, when broken lead to a new uh, trend either up or down. So that's a great opportunity for us here uh, to wait for the uh, this squeeze uh, to be broken either uh, for uh, either it's a ceiling if I may so say so or it's a bottom and uh, react accordingly. Uh, I've drawn uh, sort of a triangle here. Uh, as you can see, it covers the uh, bottoms, including the uh, the whips of the candles here and here. And it also covers the tops, including the whips. So uh, for me here, uh, there are a few chances. Either we'll see a break of the top of this uh, sort of a square formation and a continuation of the uptrend up to here or we'll see a reversal here, a break of the bottom and a, a downtrend all the way to the daily support area. Now in this case a downtrend would suit us better as uh, the price will not only uh, break the bottom of the square but it will also break this uh, trend line on the triangle. So that would be a great opportunity for a double sign uh, confirmation. And uh, also the, the area here is a lot bigger. Uh, we are due to a correction already, as you saw on the daily uh, time frame. We had a huge uptrend uh, for the past uh, week or so. So um, I believe a downtrend from here is highly possible. 
Uh, although I'm preparing for uh, both scenarios, so if we see uh, basically a break of the <clears throat> top of this square formation and uh, also a break of this triangle, uh, there is a high chance the price will reach this uh, daily resistance area. Now, I just want to say that you should keep in mind that here the area is a lot smaller and uh, the uptrend is kind of kind of old. So if you uh, look for an entry here, you should uh, look for it on lower time frames and also monitor your trade and manage it on lower time frames as a reversal might occur even before the price reaching this daily resistance. Now if we go to the H1, uh, you can see this, I'll turn on the blingers, you can see how the price is behaving so far here. Uh, the H1 is a good uh, time frame to enter on this uh, uh, trading plan as it is a short term trading plan. So I would either wait for a break of this line and uh, as you can see here the top of the squeeze of the square formation is already broken. Uh, so I'll just wait for a confirmation as the squeeze itself is on the H4. So uh, we can see a reversal here on the H1. But if uh, we see a break of this line on the H1, you can safely enter into a buy trade up to somewhere in this area. Uh, if we see a reversal again on the H1, you can enter if a break occurs uh, down here somewhere. Uh, it would be good if, the can if one candle breaks both the triangle line and the square formation bottom. Uh, this is it regarding this plan. Of course, uh, even if we look for a buy trade here, uh, we are going to uh, close our position when the price reaches this resistance area as this is a very, very strong area. And from there, we'll look probably for sell trades all the way to that daily support back here. So uh, we might have an opportunity for a huge trade in the next few weeks, but in the meantime, in the, uh, we can make some money from short-term trading. That would be all regarding this plan. Uh, as I said, we keep following our old trading plans. You'll see a recap for the trading plan I shared with you uh, last week. So uh, expect that tomorrow from me. And uh, of course, if you haven't, join our Telegram channel where we share our live signals. Also, we share them on Twitter. Uh, and uh, we'll hope we'll see you there. Our team wishes you a great and most importantly, profitable week. Thank you.